Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited to learn with you guys today. Are you guys ready? Show me your thumbs up. Ooh, yes. So what are we gonna do first? That's right, we're gonna welcome our friends. So you remember how the song goes? When I go, where is? You should be saying your name. Like, where is Sherelle? Where is Emilio? Where is Nalani? Where is Peyton? Where is Dylan? Right? Yes. Okay, guys. So we ready to sing? On the count of three. One, two, three. Go. Where is? Where is? Please stand up. Please stand up. Do a little wave. Do a little wave. Sit back down. Sit back down. Great job. I loved it. All right, guys. What are we going to do next? Oh, we're talking about our feelings. Oh, those feelings. Those feelings. Those feelings. Woo -hoo. Those feelings. Those feelings. Go, go, go feelings. Mm, we have those feelings. So I need to know. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling? Can you tell how I'm feeling today? Yes, I am happy. That's right. I am happy. Is anyone feeling like me today? Oh, yes, we're happy. High five it. All right. Is anyone feeling excited? Let me hear those woo-hoos. Mm, nice and loud. Oh, is anyone feeling a little sad today? You know what? It's okay. But in a few, you are going to be singing, clapping, tapping, because you're going to be happy soon, right? That frown's going to turn upside down, and you're going to be like, <laughs> all right, guys, is anyone angry today? Show me your little angry face. Let me see it. Let me see. Come on, come on. Let me see that face. Oh. All right, but all right, okay, okay. It's, it's, listen, listen, hear me out. Hear me out. It's okay to be angry, all right? Yes, because it's a part of your feelings. But if you are angry today and you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, you have to be kind, okay? Ms. Sherelle would be really, really sad to find out that you are walking around saying, leave me alone. Don't talk to me. I don't want to be your friend. That's not, that's not good. No, it's not a good way to express your feelings. Miss Sherelle will be really happy to know that you are walking around and you are saying, I am angry today. I just need a moment. I need a little bit of time to myself. And then you come out and then you talk about why you're angry. Okay? We're using kind words, right? And we are not being mad and angry with everyone else and yelling at them and being mean to them, right? We're not mistreating anyone because we're angry inside, right? No, because that's not nice. Glad to hear. So now that we've talked about some of our feelings, right? What's next? Days of the week. Yes, yes. So we know yesterday was what? Thursday, that's right. So we need to find out what? The day that comes after Thursday. And how do we do that? We sing, yep. All right, are you guys ready to sing with me? All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. All right, so we know yesterday was Thursday. So let's say it together. What's today? Friday. Good job. Friday. And what letter begins with Friday? Letter F. Good. We learned about that letter this week. Okay. So we're going to say bye. To, oh, come on, Thursday. Let's go. Thursday's giving me a hard time. I want to come off the wall. Come on. Th oh. Come on, Thursday. It's not your turn anymore. It's not your turn. It's not Thursday's turn anymore. It's Friday's turn. 
It's Friday's turn. Everyone gets a turn. And it's Friday's turn. So let's Friday, put Friday on the wall. So we're going to see Thursday next week. All right. So we talked about our feelings. We know today is Friday, right? Well, mm -hmm, right, we're going to go to the month. So what month is next? Um, well, not what month is next. What month is it? July. That's right. We're in the month of July. And what letter does July begin with? J. Good. So we talked about our feelings. We know today is Friday. Good. The month is July. Right, right. So what's next? What's next? The alphabet. Right, the alphabet. And what does the alphabet tell us? Tell us the letters. Good. And what does letters help us make? Words. That is right. Letters help us to create words. You guys are so smart. Oh, man. You guys are like little geniuses. All right. So let's grab the popcorn letter container and let's sing our song so we get this letter out. Are you guys ready? All right. Popcorn letters. Popcorn pop. Whoa. So many to choose from. Okay, I picked one. What letter do you guys think we'll get today? A V? A R? I heard a G? Mm, I think a W. Let's see. We're doing a lot of guessing here. Oh. <gasps> I guessed right. Did I guess right? Mm, it wasn't me. Oh. So who said a G? I said G. You said G. Okay, whatever, because I said G. I heard myself say G. Mm -hmm. I, I said it first, but okay. Mm -hmm. It's letter G. You're right. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So let's sing to letter G. Ready? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Good. And G is for garbage. Garbage truck. Mm -hmm. What does the garbage truck come and do? Right, it comes and take our garbage. Mm -hmm. So, now we need to find out what sound does G make? Does anyone's name begin with letter G? Oh, that's cool. What's your name? Oh, I like your name. Mm -hmm. Cool name. It fits you really well. So, yesterday was letter J, right, and J says J, and J was for, yes, J is for juice, that means you like a lot of juice, and what else, J is for jet, all right, so we are trying to find, what letter again, I forgot, G, okay, thank you guys for helping me, the teamwork makes the dream work, all right, what's that letter G, letter G is hiding no, I don't know. There we go. I found it. Let's put it inside. Turn on the apple. Good. Good. She says good and J. So G makes how many sounds? Two. Good job. So G says good and G says J. G makes the same sound like the letter J. Wow, did you guys know that? Oh, see, we learn something new every day. All right, so we talked about our feelings. We know today is Friday, good. Our month is July, right? And the letter is G. G is for garbage truck. G says J. And G says, good, good. So what are we doing next? Oh, we are dressing Bentley, our friend Bentley, who is still in his pajamas. Come on, Bentley, let's get you dressed. What are we? What season are we dressing him for? Summer, all right. So he's gonna need some what? Some shorts, right? He wants to stay cool, right? What color is his shorts? Green, all right, we get him some shorts on. 
and we'll get him a long sleeve shirt no okay what kind of shirt short sleeve all right so i got him a short sleeve shirt and what color is the shirt blue and yellow okay let's get bentley dressed and he is ready to go what else do you think he needs sunglasses and i bet i know why is it to protect his eyes yeah uh-huh see i remember what you guys were teaching me so he wears the sunglasses to protect his eyes from the snow oh from the sun right from the sun good job so he's gonna need some snow boots no no sneakers oh okay let's get him his sneakers all right is Bentley ready to go? Alrighty, he's dressed and ready for that summer season. So we talked about our feelings. We know today is Friday, good. We know the month is July, right? We learned about letter G. G is for garbage truck. G says G and G says J. Good. We dress Bentley for what season? Summer, right. So what's next? What do we do next? Right, we are going to do our numbers. So let's count together, right? Remember, we're gonna tap our knee each number that we count, all right? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. You tapped your knees how many times? Ten times. Good. So we talked about our feelings. We know today is Friday. Good. The month is July, right? We learned about what letter is it? G and G is for garbage truck, right? And G says what? G and J, right? We dress Bentley for summer. Good. We tapped your we tapped our knees how many times? Ten times. And why did we do that? Right, because we counted to ten. Good. So what do we do next? Right, our shapes. So pointer is gonna pick a shape, okay? Let's see. Do you guys know this shape right here? This shape right here that Pointer chose? What shape is that? It's a heart, right? It is a heart. Oh, can you make a heart with your fingers? Cool, good job. All right, so we talked about our feelings. We know today is Friday, good. We know the month is July. We learned about what letter? Letter G, G for garbage truck, vroom, vroom. And G says G and J, right? We dress Bentley for what season? The winter season? Mm -mm. What season? Summer, that is so correct. We tap our knees how many times? 10 times, good job. And why did we do that? Right, we counted one to 10. Good job. And what shape did we learn about today? The heart, right. So what do we do next? Our colors, good job. So today, if you are wearing any of these colors, you are going to pat your belly, okay? All right, can you follow that direction? What are you gonna do? Pat your tummy. All right, if you're wearing the color red, pat your tummy, I see you wearing that color red. If you're wearing the color orange, good job. Who's wearing the color blue? Who's wearing the color yellow? White, pink green, purple, gray, turquoise, 
brown, black. Oh, you guys did an awesome job following directions. You pat your stomach so I knew what colors you were wearing. So we talked about our feelings, right? We know today is what? Friday, good, say it nice and loud. What month are we in? July, good. We learned about what letter? G, and G is for garbage truck, right? And G says G and J. We dress Bentley for what season? Summer. How many times did you pat your knee? 10 times. And why? Good job, because we counted one to 10. What shape did we learn about? The heart, good. And what action did you do to let me know the colors you were wearing? Right, you pat your stomach. Good job, give yourself a big round of applause. You guys completed all of the learning for today. Isn't that awesome? Yes, you did. So I have an activity that I want to do with you guys that you can do at home with your family. And it's called sink or swim, okay? So in the summertime, there are things that we see. In the summertime, see, what's this? You know what this is? It's a golf ball. Can't play golf in the winter. It's more of a summer sport because it's outdoors. There are There is indoor golf, but most people like to play golf outdoors when it's nice and warm and hot out. Then we have a what? What's this? A duck, right? Do we see ducks in the winter time? No, we see them in the summer, right? Mm -hmm. How about, what's this? A frog, right? And he lives in a, where does he live? He lives in a pond with the duck. And you mostly see frogs in the summer, right? And then we have a, do you guys know what this is? Hmm? You see it? Do you figure out what it is yet? No, it's not a fly. It's not a grasshopper. It's actually a cricket. And you hear them in the summer nights. They make this loud noise with their back of their legs. Okay. And we see him in the summer. What's this? A shovel, right? And we use this at the beach, right? When we're digging to make our sand castle. So we are going to have a little science experiment. So you are going, it's either they're going to sink, right? Or they're going to float. So if you think it's going to sink, you're gonna put your thumbs down, meaning it's gonna go to the bottom. If you think it's going to float, you're gonna put your thumbs up because you think that it's gonna stay floating at the top of the water. So here we are, we have a duck. Do you think the duck is going to swim? Swim, we know it's gonna swim. Do you think it's going to sink? Thumbs down if you think it's gonna sink. Or do you think it's going to float? Thumbs up if you think it's going to float. I think that it's going to Float, and float starts with the letter S. Oh, wow. So those of you that said it's going to float, your guess was correct. Good job. So now we have the ball. Do you think the ball is going to float or sink? Oh, you guys think it's going to sink? I think so too, it's kind of heavy. So let's see. Mm. I don't know, it looks like it's floating, but it's not at the top. Yeah, it's actually floating up. So it didn't sink, it actually floated. All right, so now we have the 
shovel, the beach shovel, sink or float? Which one? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, I think it's going to sink. So I have my thumbs down. Let's see. Oh, these things are floating. Nothing is sinking. Okay, so we have the cricket. Do you think it's going to sink or float? I think it's going to float. I think thumbs up. I think it's going to float. Okay. Oh, <gasps> no. It sunk right to the bottom. Bloop. Aw. Okay, so one last object, and it's the what? The frog. Okay. Float or sink? Who says float? Thumbs up. Who says sink? Thumbs down. I think it's going to float, only because the duck floated. So let's see. <gasps> Look at that, guys. So how many objects are floating? One, two, three, four. And how many objects are sinking? Right, just one, only one object. And I think it's because of the fact that the cricket is very light. So it sunk right to the bottom. What was heavy was the duck, the ball, the shovel, and the duck, I mean the frog, which made it easier for them to float up top. So you guys can do this activity at home with different objects to see what which ones would sink or float. I think that would be a great activity to do with your family at home. It's good to learn the mass and the weight of objects. All right, guys. So we heard that sound. And I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And I will see you again back on Monday because... We're not here tomorrow. You won't see me tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the weekend starting Saturday and Sunday. No me sure out. So I see you on Monday. All right. Bye.